It's 4.45 in the morning. I want to go back to sleep. But it's time to drive down to Everett, try out the new airport, fly to San Jose, and go visit everyone back in the Bay Area. One stop I'm real excited to make is to these guys, to Kitspo in Petaluma, California. The main purpose of this trip would be to attend the Sea Otter Classic. Thanks, Jeffrey. But I also really wanted to meet a few of the new employees over at Kitspo, a longtime sponsor of mine. So last year I was going to Sea Otter trying to meet some new sponsors and grow my support quite a bit. This year I'm going back to Sea Otter to say thank you to all those new sponsors. This is pretty cool. I had an idea for what's turned into the Local Loam series and it's amazing to see the support it's gotten and how well it's taken off. This is super cool. So this trip's pretty quick, but I'm gonna head up to Kitspo. I haven't seen those guys in a little bit. They're super cool. I'm gonna do a ride with Storm. I'm gonna also pop by WTB. We're about to get into San Francisco in a few minutes here. I'm originally from the Santa Cruz Mountains, and after my seven years of working at Ibis, I took a job up at WTB about an hour and a half north, just past San Francisco. This will be my first time back to WTB in almost two years. That right there is Mount Tamil Pius. The most hotly contested trails in the world. How's it going? Good, and you? I'm good. My name's Jeff. Matt. Nice to meet you. My last name's Kendall Weed. I used to work in that office right there. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. You could have. I was coming in to say hey to you, Fred. Taking pictures. <laughs> yeah, do you want to be on the vlog? This house right here is where my wife gave birth to our little girl two and a half years ago, right in that upstairs bedroom. 576 square feet here in Marin County. That place was awesome. Best part of it, every single wall is a window. And that right there is Mount Camel Pie. That's the mountain I would ride over to get to work every day. All right, let's go to Kitspo. I'm vlogging. Awesome. Sweet. Jeff. Nice to meet you in person after all this time. Indeed. Cool. Glad you made it. What's up, Xander? How are you? Nice to you. Hey. Storm. Storm. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Put a person. face to the name. Glenn. Glenn. G-L-E-N-N? G-L-Y-N. Glenn. Yeah. Cool. Little nice. Huh? Distinctive. <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh, Jeff. Tim. Nice to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you too. Man, a bunch of first times. This is good. <laughs> Keep coming right on. Uh, yeah. Glenn's, Glenn's on it. <laughs> nice. Oh, he's throwing his kids up. What, yeah. what frame is that? That's the Ibis HD4. Okay, you, uh, Sorry, I got it all hot. covered up with the shipping supplies. Okay, that's cool. Why are you doing this as opposed to the Ritmo? Good luck on your bike Thanks. tour. Have Appreciate a great time. it. Oh, I'll be fine. Looking forward to it. Tim's going on a bike tour right now. Where are you going, Tim? Uh, I'm going to go down near Salinas, uh, you know, just basically going, going down to uh, San Luis Obispo. Cool, all in dirt or mix of dirt and pavement? Mix of dirt and pavement cool. and trying to stay out of the car's ways. And trouble. Yeah, and trouble too, <laughs> exactly. Cool, have a great trip. All right, thanks Jeff. <laughs> Safe ride too. Thank you, yeah, we gotta take it mellow. Kitspo has something really cool going on and luckily, David was there to give me a quick tour. What's back here, David? This is our manufacturing. <laughs> Is that Benito? Production, yeah. this is Benito. Jeff, we met a long time ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you fixed my shirt, thank you. Right. I still use it like every day. All right. Benito's the head sewer. Hi, I'm Fatima. What was your name? Fatima. Fatima, mm -hmm. nice to meet you. Smarta. Jeff, um, nice to meet you. And you can see over there, there's more product. Yeah. That's been cut. Escalator, so. Escalator. Steel gray color, you know, medium size. Yeah. So, as, as the yeah. items go through production, these are the ones they'll be working on tomorrow and the next day. You recognize these? Yeah, yeah, All yeah. Right, so, and it goes in the poly bag. Cool. With the labels. Yeah, awesome. With the barcodes. And then here they're finished. And so Glenn will come in here once a day, take all the stuff that has been produced today, goes in the box and goes to the 3 Cool, cool. So every day, 
So some of these things might have been ordered today. Yeah. And we're going to ship out tomorrow because we just made them. That's awesome. So when we do it that way, we can have as little as three weeks of inventory wow. at any given time, which means we never have to scrap because we never made clothes that didn't sell. And you don't have to do any kind of weird close out deals or anything like that's that. That's right. So yeah. that's why you rarely see kids go on sale. Yeah. And it's why we never scrap anything in the environment. The dirty little secret about apparel is that 30 to 40 percent of all the clothes made worldwide get destroyed. Wow. And I saw the, the current goal is 50 percent of all product made in-house. Yes. Right now we're making 25 percent in-house. Cool. Our goal is 50 percent this year. We're already doing 50 percent in America. Nice. And we hope to get to 100 percent in America very soon. Do you count the Canadian supplier as we don't. in America? Thank you for the support. Have to do that. Well, thank you. Enjoy. Awesome. It's one of my favorite. Yeah, wines. I hate red wine. Try that one. It's good. <laughs> well, Anyhow, we should uh, load up. Let's load this van. Up. Nice to meet you, Glenn. Yeah. Nice to meet you, David. Nice to meet you in person. Exactly. <laughs> See you guys. Get the moto style tied in. Oh my goodness, fancy. So are you from Petaluma? Yeah, I uh, was born in Napa, so okay. Napa Valley, just you know, quick 20, 30 minute drive from here. Yeah. I went to high school here in town at Palos Grande High School, community college after that, and then cool. to Sonoma State University. Well, I have got some hate on the internet because people think that I am somehow taking pro snowboarder or pro skateboarder Jeff Kendall's name and putting weed at the end of it for search engine optimization <laughs> and that this is a fabricated persona no way. designed for more for hits. SEO. <laughs> wow. We're definitely going to Annabelle. We're going to start a trail house, I think. Get him fuel up, get Jeff some water here, <laughs> then go to Annabelle and write some goods. It's been dry enough the last few days after a bunch of water, so we should have some creamy conditions. So Speed. Cool. Hey, hey how's it going, man? I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, dude. You want to yeah. be in the vlog? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it should be good here. So how did, uh, here, let's do a quick interview. Yeah. How did New Zealand go? It went all right. I had the flu the whole time. Oh, so no. that kind of... You still have the flu? Should I wash no, my hands? No, no. <laughs> Went to Tasmania the next weekend and got fit there, so Sick. better. Yeah. Sick. Fifth in... U21. U21. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. So nice. Hopefully, Port 2 will be a different story. You going out right now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just came down to hang out. You know Storm? Oh, yeah. Best pre-ride spot ever. It is. Best post-ride spot ever. When the weather's good and having the door open, it's like... That's just insane. Man, good. good to see ya. Good a little, I know. I like the mustache. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks. Here, do you want to be in the vlog? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I Sweet. Yeah, it's good to see you, man. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Storm and I had a great ride in Annadale, and if you want to see all the trails we rode, let me know in the comments below. For now, I want to show you guys this sweet little hut that we sessioned. Trail House is a super rad place to hang out, but it's within super easy pedaling distance to single track. Taking my sweet little time. This is where the real Mamma Jamma Sender is. Mamma Jamma Sender? Yeah. Like longer than 40 feet? Oh no. Okay. Just in terms of the park, it's cool. like the biggest booter. You want to check it out? We can run up to it. Sure. <laughs> Oh, you gap off this and onto that guy? Yeah, you can double this. That's pretty real. Yeah. <laughs> That's bigger than I was expecting. Yeah, I can't Sick. do it. I, haven't even, I don't even have any reason to try. Yeah. But I saw, one, I saw a YouTube or Instagram clip. This, uh, do you know Corey Sullivan? Yeah, I know Corey yeah, well. Yeah, he sent it. He sent it. We definitely have some commitment. <laughs> We're riding safe today, aren't we? I don't know. It's just it's a narrow landing. Oh. 
Yeah, I've been down this one. <laughs> oh, right. Look at this, bike parking and everything. Quick sea otter weather check. It's hard to see on camera, but it looks pretty foggy out there. Another year, another sea otter. Been to every single one of these since 1996, with the exception of 2006, when I was living in Alicante, Spain for the year. Sea otter has grown tremendously over the years, but one thing that I think is really cool is that the general feel and vibe of the event hasn't really changed that much at all. Cheers. Cheers. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'll see you guys around. Have a good sea otter. What's up, YouTube? Tony from The Outsider MTV. I'm happy to meet this guy. I've been following his <laughs> channel for a while, if you like. I, need, I, need I didn't even see Chuck here. Oh, Jeff Campbell. How are you? Oh, nice to meet you. Good bikes, guys. Thank you. Yeah, you like the original thing, but made it look the same. So, not a hard pack road tire. <laughs> Say what? I work in the fight over here. Wanted, Mark Weir. Oh. All right, see you there. See you later. What's up, Ian? How are you? I was going to introduce you to my fiance. I'm Jeff. So. Hi, Jeff. What's your Jeff, good meeting you, man. Thanks, Matt. We'll yeah. see you around. I'll be back in a little bit at the bike. Look at you guys. Bigger than ours. Log life. Log exception. I just think this is rad. I think this is so cool. I've wanted to see Hans and the Gorilla Gravity guys talk shop, and it's happening right here, right now. Super cool.